I've got this 2001 Renault Scenic that started running like it's got a misfire. And one of the engine lights has stayed on, the one for the heating elements, glow plugs. So I'm going to remove the glow plugs and test them today and if that's not the fault then I'll have to start investigating the injectors. I've already drained the fuel pump and that made no difference. I've tried running it with the math sensor disconnected and that's made no difference. So I'm going in to the engine now. I've removed this plastic cover, it was just three 10mm bolts that bolt into there. Now I'm going to remove the air filter. I don't know if this piece needs to come off, if there's any bolts underneath inside or if they're all buried at the back. I don't want to have to take this cowling off. filter could probably do with a change but I don't know what's I don't think that's going to be the problem now with all of this rain we've had recently I wondered if something had got wet well, I can't see any water this is a 10 millimeter bolt most things are 10 I don't know if there's any wires clipped onto it anyway, there's one there. Is there a bolt at the back? It feels like something there. Yeah, there's something holding it on there. Never mind, we'll just keep it loose. At least I've got a bit of freedom. work at the back on the math sensor and everything and to look at it properly you've probably got to take all this cowling off there and I can't be bothered so I can put this back on because that was pointless I know there's no water in there.
how do these come off? That one looks like it's going to be difficult to get to. It looks like you need a deep socket. Sure, how these come off? Does he just pull? Nope. Top of the glow plug. So I'm just putting the pliers in there, pulling up. This one could be difficult, but it's under this. There's always one. I can't get the glow plugs out because I don't have a deep socket so I'm going to test them in the car. To do that I'm going to use a cheap multimeter, set it to a fair stuff, I'll stick the negative into the negative battery terminal. Make sure you put it into the negative. Then I'm going to set it on to uh, 200 ohms and then touch the positive onto the tip of a glow plug. Now that should give a resistance. As you can see, infinite resistance. There's no connection between this and the earth. Touch that on the tip. Twenty seven ohms or whatever that is. Try the next one. Touch it on the tip. Twenty eight, twenty seven. Touch it on the tip. Lose it. Man. on cars these days. There we go, that's on the 
tip of the glow plug. So I'm confident that those glow plugs work. So next I'm going to have to check the injectors. But that means removing the air filter, which means removing this cowling, which means removing the windscreen wipers, which means bummer. I've taken off the wipers, they were just 15 millimeter under these bolts and then pull the wipers off but if they're stiff don't break your screen now I'll take this cowling off just a load of these screws everywhere so I'll get them off and then come back right I've taken all of those out now I have to pull this rubber off take these off Like this has got to come off to I bet that's 10 millimeter yeah these are 10 millimeter man there's some cold wind blowing trouble with Renault is you have to take them apart to do the simplest of things. The good thing about Renault is they're easy to take apart. So it's just annoying. Hopefully this will come off now. Behold. Ah, right, that's made access a bit easier. That is the EGR valve. I've cleaned that once. So I'm not going to bother taking that off because I did take that off and clean it. Check the nuts are tight. That's the mass airflow sensor there. So if anyone, if you're reading on forums or looking and they say, ooh, unplug your mass airflow sensor or your mass sensor, then it's this one here. You could probably just about get to this without taking all of this cowling off because it's only a plug. That's got to come off anyway because I need to remove the air filter. Air filter. 10 millimeter bolt. What a surprise. unbolted and it's loose but it looks like the mass airflow sensor is screwed onto it and I ain't gonna get a screwdriver in there or a spanner so I'm gonna disconnect the airflow sensor from this hose yeah that'll 
that's like the easiest way. But probably can't see. But there's this clip contraption here, so I'll have a butcher's at that. Don't know how it comes off. Right, I've pulled the air filter off. There is something still attached. Oh, no, there isn't. Yes, there is. It's attached here. Pull it out there. I'm going to do that. It's difficult with one hand. One underneath as well. I'm gonna to have to do two hands. Air filters off. Now I've got good access to the injectors. I'll look at this clip while I'm here, see how that works. it closed the way I undid it was put these long nose pliers in there and twisted lifted it up and then that comes out so obviously to close it again I'm gonna have to do something like that I'll straighten this down a bit before putting it back on just to get it a good grip but yeah that was that weird clip easy enough to get off I'll check the wiring on these to see if they're all okay and nothing's got snapped because that if you can see Split. So that wire's very poor. Cable's insulation's broken. Could be shorting out somewhere. Right. And see. Let me examine the rest and then come back. I've put insulating tape around these to fix them as best as I can. But I think I might have identified the potential fault. Here's a normal plug. A nice weather seal around it. Here's one that was on this plug. No weather seal. The innards are missing outside. That's probably going to be out of focus, but you get the gist. And feeling how stiff this is and it's long, that feels like it's been soldered in there as a replacement. So I'm going to have to cut this off, take it in the house and see if I can repair it up. And hopefully that will be the cause because I can't see anything else that would be an issue. Yeah, as you can see that's been grafted onto there. Whoever did it did a good job but the plug hasn't survived I'm afraid so I'm going to cut that off, take it in, see what can be done.